Got a time to hit the road again, two away games, but going in good shape after a really positive result against Derby. Yeah, I mean, on reflection, probably slightly disappointed. We didn't win the game. Uh, full throttle, real energetic game, intense. And we probably had the best moments and just didn't take those moments on the day, but it's great credit to the lads that we, we kept another clean sheet. I um, thought we defended well back to front, really. And yeah, we want to go to Lincoln now, give a good account of ourselves and, and try and get the three points. Yeah, just lastly on Derby, I perhaps didn't make enough of it myself with you after the game. The crowd, the biggest since the Premier League days in over 10 years. Yeah. You spoke about it with others, but that was a great occasion for the club. Brilliant uh, and great, you know, almost a case in point to the progression and the journey we've been on the last three, well, third season I'm in charge now. Um, we've kind of built that connection again, built that relationship and trust with the community and the town and that's what we wanted to do and yeah it means we're on the right track um, the more of those would be very much appreciated because it was just an unbelievable atmosphere and yeah gutted we couldn't quite get the job done but it was a decent enough performance and, and hopefully there's more to come yeah, inevitably there won't be quite as many at Lincoln tomorrow but there will be a good away support and uh, they've done well at home they've drawn a lot but unbeaten at home so it's another tough test yeah unbeaten at home and they, I think they've beaten Sheffield Wednesday there so we know it's going to be a tough test um, it's always a big occasion when we turn up <laughs> our fans away fans are fantastic and create a brilliant atmosphere and in turn, with that comes you know huge expectancy from us, and and obviously, the opposition always tend to raise their game when they're facing you know our crowd and our team, and we need to make sure that we embrace that and and perform to our levels and, and try and get the three points. It'll be an important three points uh, to make up for that draw on on Tuesday. It's remarkable as it sounds. We reached the halfway point uh, at this weekend. Yeah. It feels, I know you've said before, it feels like we've been at it forever already this season, but it is only halfway. I know you'd yeah. have liked one or two more points on the board, but happy with where you're at and you're in a place to challenge. Yeah, I mean, we've we've progressed and that was what the plan was and hugely important and miles ahead of where we were last year. Um, I think if we can win on Friday, it, it puts us on target to get more points than we got last year. And we ended up with a really strong second half of the season. And we've spoke historically about how our teams have finished strongly in the second half of the season. We've got a transfer window to come where we can make a few tweaks. So yeah, I think we're in a pretty good space. Uh, we want to be better, we want to be higher, and we're kind of already looking at where we've dropped points. But I think every team can do that along the course of a season. And and yeah, we just want to concentrate on the next four or five games in particular because they're very big ones and, and give ourselves a good chance. I think the key is it is only halfway though. I mean, there's an awful long way to go, isn't there? An awful lot of points still to play for and there's going to be a lot of movement still. Yeah, I mean, things change really quickly in football. Um, you can go on a run of games which can propel you to the top end of the table or you can go on a bad run and teams below can catch you. This is a, a real tight division. Probably the top two are a little bit clear at the moment, but... As I said, there's a long, long way to go and a lot of football to be played. Um, and I do think we're going to see some, some changes mm -hmm. and we need to be in the position to make sure we take advantage of that. It is the here and now, though. Uh, how's the squad looking uh, ahead of the game? It was a, a tough competitive game against yeah. you, so it was a really OK. I mean, watching it live, it was, it was frantic. It was full throttle. It was so energetic. Um, but when you actually look at the data, the physical data, uh, it was OK. Uh, we should recover fine there's no issues there and just one or two knocks um, a bit battered and bruised because it was so physical but other than that yeah all good ready to go Rico and Geth of full training looking really strong good so they'll be added to the squad um, yeah looking good so will they travel I know you, you won't show your hand of course well, I'm not going to tell you that but yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're available they're, they're available for, for selection for the long weekend yeah, yeah they're available yeah, yeah. for selection yeah but just lastly on that I know you have full of praise for the lads that have stepped in and, and, and done the job defensively so Ooh. you've got options there yeah great credit to them really um, I mean I spoke briefly after the game on Tuesday that th this was the first big occasion that some of those lads some of those lads have played in mm. you know almost you know 25 26 thousand uh, uh, top of the table clash against a big club um, huge huge game for some uh, Owen Toll's first experience of that biggest crowd he's ever played in front of mm. um, you've got Aaron Morley who's a young lad James Trafford who's a young lad Connor Bradley who's a young lad so these lads are learning all the time and getting used to that environment and atmosphere I was really pleased with how they 
they showed up. Um, but yeah, the, the back three in particular defended really, really well. Will, experienced players, never let us down. Our win's getting better all the time and, and Jono keeps improving as well. But as I've said many times, we defend as a team, we attack as a team and the press that we get at the top end of the pitch really helps us keep clean sheets. So long may that continue.